I have had much trouble in living with my ideas. There was a daemon in me, and in the end, its presence proved decisive. It overpowered me, and if I was at times ruthless, it was because I was in the grip of the daemon. I could never stop at anything once attained. I had to hasten on, to catch up with my vision. Since my contemporaries, understandably, could not perceive my vision, they saw only a fool rushing ahead. I have offended many people, for as soon as I saw that they did not understand me, that was the end of the matter as far as I was concerned. I had to move on. I had no patience with people apart from my patience. I had to obey an inner law which was imposed on me and left me no freedom of choice. Of course, I did not always obey it. How can anyone live without inconsistency? For some people, I was continually present and close to them so long as they were related to my inner world. But then it might happen that I was no longer with them because there was nothing left which would link me to them. I had to learn painfully that people continued to exist even when they had nothing more to say to me. Many excited in me a feeling of living humanity, but only when they appeared within the magic circle of psychology. Next moment, when the spotlight cast its beam elsewhere, there was nothing to be seen. I was able to become intensely interested in many people, but as soon as I had seen through them, the magic was gone. In this way, I made many enemies. A creative person has little power over his own life. He is not free. He is captive and driven by his daemon. Shamefully, a power wrests away the heart from us, for the heavenly ones each demand sacrifice. But if it should be withheld, never has that led to good, says Holderlin. This lack of freedom has been a great sorrow to me. Often I felt as if I were on a battlefield, saying, Now you have fallen, my good comrade, but I must go on. For shamefully a power wrests away the heart from us. I am fond of you, indeed I love you, but I cannot stay. There is something heart-rending about that. And I myself am the victim... I cannot stay. But the daemon manages things so that one comes through, and blessed inconsistency sees to it that in flagrant contrast to my disloyalty, I can keep faith in unsuspected measure. Perhaps, I might say, I need people to a higher degree than others, and at the same time, much less. When the daemon is at work, one is always too close and too far. Only when it is silent can one achieve moderation. The daemon of creativity has ruthlessly had its way with me. The ordinary undertakings I planned usually had the worst of it, though not always and not everywhere. 